Good afternoon. My name's Jamie Hubbard. I'm restoring an old Watson camera over there and I've got to make a new plate holder. Part of the plate holder, um, the mechanism in the plate holder is sealing light out as it's dismantled, as it's taken apart or as it's operated. Um, and this is a velvet ribbon that sits in a small groove and I've got to create all new for this camera I'm working on. And the question has to be asked, what adhesive do I use to stick this down? Now, I've pulled this apart a couple of times, but I can just show you guys one more time. Um, it comes off quite easily. Look at the residue left behind um, and listen to the noise. So, on the sample there, I'm expecting, hoping that we will see some sort of evidence like this uh, left behind from the ribbon. I know this is old ribbon and I'm using modern ribbon, but um, if we find something similar, I've got to mention as well that the groove that it sits in is deeper towards the edges here and here, and it's uh, a little bit higher in the center, which does work with the, um, it works with the fact that you want a lot of pressure on the ribbon but you don't want pressure on the ribbon at the edges because that might make it loose and the ribbon fall out so let's move you guys down here so you can see what's going on and then we'll take it to the next step we're going to film the results of the testing for the adhesive now i'll be honest with you we're two days or so after this was glued on so we've had a fair bit of time so that's good so we're going to put it in the vise, set you guys up on there, and then we're going to see what it feels like. Right, so you're getting the same view as me. So, first of all, the polish. This is a shellac-based polish where solvent is methylated spirits, and it took a while for it to um, flash off. But what it did as well was it went through the pile of the velvet, crushed the velvet, parts of the ribbon, and it's it's brittle and it's not fluffy and it's sealed, and actually that's no good. So that's failed. Now let's try pulling it off. Quite easy. Left a bit of deposit on there, but not. In fact, it isn't. It's just an imprint of the back. Of the of the velvet ribbon so failed right where do we go now this is PVA type bond 3 I'm going to do type bond 3 for no let's do PVA so we might want to watch this um, I'm going to put you there I'm quite optimistic about these two to be honest I'm really optimistic about these two it we're definitely using one of them and that was from the just pulling it off previous day so let's see what's going on now Ooh, that's quite a... You can see it's left some tufts there. That's a good sign. Um, it doesn't want to come off. Okay. Well, PVA is great. PVA is great. Pleased with that. Okay. So is it PVA or does Type Bond 3 win it? So let's um, keep you steady. You ready? Here we go. Oh, good grief. Ah. Oh, good grief. Look at that. So it's actually removing the felt from the backing. Wow, how weird is that? So the ribbon is separating from the woven velvety stuff that comes through the ribbon and that's that's too good well there you go well that solves that one doesn't it type bond three is too good so thank you for watching uh, that's interesting it's worth trying so pva beats type bond three beats shellac so I'm really pleased with that. That's great results. And um, 
please like, share, comment, all the rest. And more camera stuff and more other tips and tricks coming along very soon. Cheers. Bye.